DNA was first discovered in the 1800s. Since that time, scientists have discovered that DNA contains a code for life. DNA is created at the exact moment of conception and, like fingerprints, is unique to each individual, as noted in the court's decision in Maryland v. King. The question of when human life begins is not for politicians or philosophers to answer. That question has already been answered. Human embryologists, scientists, have published their findings in some highly respected human embryology textbooks. These scientists have found that DNA is created at the exact moment the sperm meets the ovum. At that moment, a zygote is formed. This human embryo begins to multiply, and if allowed to live, will continue to develop into an adult. Let me be perfectly clear. Two humans join together, each contributing at least one sex cell. At the point of fertilization, a new and unique individual is created. This new individual has characteristics from the father and the mother, yet is a separate individual. It's not the father, and it's not the mother. The developing baby, although attached to the mother and receiving nutrients from the mother, is a separate individual. Scientists agree that life begins at conception. The evidence is irrefutable. It's time the courts recognize these facts. It's time for the states to correct the courts.